I wanted to show you guys how we can use the quadratic formula to factor this quadratic trinomial. Have a look. For quadratic formula, it's usually for solving quadratic equations in the form of the standard form, right? x squared plus bx plus c equals 0. But this right here is not an equation. This right here is just an expression, right? There's no equal to 0 or equal to anything. Keep that in mind. Anyway, if we have a standard quadratic equation, then we know that by the quadratic formula, x equals negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2 times a. Now let's just go ahead and work out the formula with this. a is 6, b is 7, c is negative 3. Now, let's just go ahead and draw this number into here. And again, because this right here is not an equation, I'm not going to write down x equals. I'm just going to write down this expression. We have negative b, so that's negative 7. And then plus or minus, open the square root. We have to do b squared, which is 7 squared. Minus 4 times a, which is 6. And then times c, which is negative 3 all over 2 times a, which is 2 times 6. Now, this right here equals, let's just work this out, negative 7 plus or minus. And then here we have the square root, but now we will have to work out the inside of the square root right here. So let's go ahead and do it on the side. We have 7 squared minus 4 times 6 minus 3 inside of the parentheses, like this. Worked out the powers. 7 squared is 49. And then this is a minus times another minus, so it becomes a plus. 4 times 6 is 24, times the 3 is 72. So 49 plus 72. This right here gives us 121. This is the number that goes inside of the square root. And then we still have 2 times 6 on the bottom, so that will be 12 right here. I know. We are doing a lot of work already, but the good thing is that there's seriously no guess and check involved. You don't have to think about what times c, what is equal to 18 and then plus them together, you get like, I don't know, 17 or something, right? No guess and check, nothing like that. Okay, then this is plus or minus square root of 121, that's just 11. So we are looking at negative 7 plus or minus 11 over 12. And... Um, do you guys want me to erase the board regularly or you want to see a magic? Magic? Okay. Good choice. Now, this right here actually represents we have to do two numbers, right? The first one is with the plus. Negative 7 plus 11 over 12. And the other one is with the minus. Negative 7 minus 11 over 12. Work this out first. Negative 7 plus 11 is 4 over 12. Reduce this by dividing by 4, divided by 4, we have 1 third. Negative 7 minus 11 is negative 18 over 12. Here, we can divide it by 6, divided by 6. We get negative 3 over 2. So, what exactly does this mean though? If we were solving a quadratic equation, if this was equal to 0, then we know this is an x value that will make that true and this would be an x value that will make that true. So if you look at this right here, we can move the one third to the other side and get a factor x minus 1 over 3. And then right here, do the same thing. Move this to the other side, it's x minus a negative, so it becomes a plus 3 over 2. But here's the thing. Originally, there was no fraction, huh? How can we end up with a factor that has a fraction? So what do we do? Hmm. This is similar to the slide and divide method I showed you in the previous video when we factored it that. When we have a fraction, just go ahead and put this denominator to here. Same thing here. This denominator to here. And there you have it. I can go back to the original and say 6x squared plus 7x minus 3 we can factor that, and we can get this as 3x minus 1 times 
2x plus 3. That's it. So, this is how you would actually use the quadratic formula to factor a quadratic expression. I personally wouldn't do this. Even though it might be less involved in terms of guess and check, but seriously, I think one of the five methods I demonstrated in the previous video is definitely better than this right here.